Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is Monday so it's meal prep day. I have three really healthy but delicious fall inspired really good recipes for you. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I do a meal prep every single Monday and I actually upload five videos every single week. I will link my recipe website at the top of the description box. That is where you will find all three of today's recipes. Actually, all the recipes I've created here on my channel are on my website. I will also link Nutrition Coaching where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly, highly recommend. This is how I have lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability or just to ask me questions. Links and discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group, come join us. We would love to have you are all down in that description box. So let's head on into my kitchen for this week's meal prep. For my breakfast this week, I'm going to make pumpkin protein overnight oats. I've been loving overnight oats and I am craving something pumpkin-y. So let me show you what you'll need. First, you're going to need overnight oat jars or containers of your choice. You're going to need protein powder for obvious reasons. I'm using Clean Simple Eats. You already know that's my favorite and the pumpkin pie protein. This is actually really, really good. It has the perfect pumpkin spicy flavor. 20 grams of protein, 100 calories. And like I said, Clean Simple Eats is my all-time favorite protein powder, hands down. I do have a discount for them. I will link it down below for you. You're also going to need oats of your choice. You can do rolled oats or steel cut oats. I'm going to add some walnuts for a healthy fat. I'm going to use Fairlife milk, of course. That's going to give me 13 grams of protein for every cup. Pumpkin pie spice, pumpkin puree, maple syrup. That's going to sweeten my oats a little bit more naturally. So let's go ahead and make these pumpkin protein overnight oats. So the first thing I'm going to do is add 30 grams of rolled oats to my container. Half of a cup of my Fairlife milk. One scoop of Clean Simple Eats pumpkin protein. A tablespoon of pumpkin puree. A tablespoon of sugar-free maple syrup. And then pumpkin pie spice. And lastly, 10 grams of walnuts. Here is what the overnight oats look like. I'm going to pop the lid on and give it a big shake to get everything nice and mixed together. So here are the pumpkin protein overnight oats. This is such a great breakfast. We have carbs, a good slow digesting carbs with carb with the oats. We have walnuts for fat. We have protein powder, milk with protein, pumpkin puree for fiber. We have just a really well rounded protein packed breakfast. I will go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. For my lunch this week, I'm making harvest quinoa salad with pumpkin yogurt dressing. This sounds absolutely amazing. Now this is a plant-based meal. I will most likely be adding in some chicken for some extra protein, but let me show you what is in the recipe. You're going to need beets, red beets, golden beets, whatever your preference is, pecans, pumpkin pie spice, romaine lettuce, butternut squash, one Fuji apple, pumpkin puree, non-fat plain Greek yogurt, sugar-free maple syrup, apple cider vinegar, reduced sugar cra craisins, and then I have quinoa cooking in my little dash rice cooker. This thing is a life saver for rice, for quinoa, barley, everything. It's amazing. I bought it on Amazon. I'll link it down below for you. I have one cup of dry quinoa in there, which will result in two cups of cooked quinoa. And then again, you can add a protein source of your choice. I'm going to add some white meat shredded chicken breast. So the first thing I need to do is chop and wash my lettuce, my apple, and my beets. I did buy my squash pre-cut up, but if you buy a whole butternut squash, you'll want to cut that up as well. This is a sign that you've chopped up beets. My hands will probably be red the rest of the day, but I did chop up about two cups of beets. Here is my package of butternut squash. 
Just sprayed it with some olive oil cooking spray. I'm going to roast these in the oven at 425. I did cut up all my romaine, washed it. This is my salad spinner. I bought this on Amazon. If it's still available, I'll link it for you. But just spinning out all that water out of the salad is really, really beneficial. So there's my romaine and then my chopped up apples. All the vegetables are roasting. The quinoa is cooking. cooking. Let's make up the yogurt pumpkin dressing. So I did add a quarter cup of water to my mason jar. I'm just going to make the dressing in here, stored in here. I'll be able to shake it up before I apply it to my salad. It just makes the most sense to me. So let me go ahead and add, so I'm going to add one cup of non-fat Greek yogurt. One half of a cup of pumpkin puree. I'm going to give that just a quick shake before adding the rest of my ingredients. Two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice. Two tablespoons apple cider vinegar. And then two tablespoons of sugar-free maple syrup. And again, I'll pop the lid on and shake it up. Here is our yogurt dressing. I'm just going to go ahead and set this aside. So I just pulled the roasted squash and beets out of the oven. These look so good. My quinoa is also done. My apples are all chopped up. I have a quarter cup chopped pecans, quarter cup raisins. I did bag my salad up. I always put a paper towel in the bag to get any moisture out. And I did add some lettuce to a bowl because I want to assemble one of the salads with you to show you what I'm going to be doing for lunch today and what I'll be doing for lunches this week. I added my extra cooked beets and squash to a storage container container and the recipe makes four salads so you're going to get quite a bit of everything so let me go ahead and add my squash so this is about one quarter of my roasted squash and then one quarter of my roasted beets this is one Fuji apple, so again, a quarter of the apple. I'm going to do one third cup of cooked quinoa, about a tablespoon of my craisins, and again, these are the reduced sugar, and about a tablespoon of my chopped pecans. And here is the salad. Now, of course, I'm going to add some chicken, probably about three ounces of shredded chicken, and then a quarter of the dressing, the yogurt pumpkin dressing. This is such a fantastic lunch. You have so much good stuff in here between the lettuce, the apples for some fiber. You've got squash, beets, quinoa. I mean, it really is a beautiful, beautiful salad. This is a high volume, low density food, which means you get a lot of it for very little calories. So I am going to go ahead and pop up points, calories, and macros for the salad without chicken. And then of course, whatever protein, if you decide to add protein, you can just add that in as well. But this is going to be such a healthy lunch. For a sweet treat this week, I'm making no bake cherry cheesecake. I know somebody in my house, Troy, who's very excited for this. Super simple recipe, six ingredients. Let me show you what you'll need. So you're going to need graham cracker crumbs, sweetener alternative of your choice. This is Lakanto granulated. You already know, that's my favorite sweetener alternative. I do have a discount for Lakanto. I'll link it down below for you. You're also going to need some light butter, two big packages of one third less fat cream cheese, vanilla extract, and heavy whipping cream. Okay, seven ingredients. You do need a can of no sugar added cherry pie filling. So to get started on the no bake cherry cheesecake bars. I did line an eight by eight baking dish with parchment paper. I have two cups of graham cracker crumbs. I'm going to add those to a bowl. And then I have one third cup of light melted butter. And I'm going to add that, mix that together. This is going to be the crust of our bars. Definitely go in with your hands at some point to kind of get it mixed together into like a crumbly crust formula. And then we're going to put that in the bottom of our baking dish. And again, this is the crust for our bars. And then we're simply going to press that into place. We're going to add one half of a cup of heavy whipping cream to a bowl and using a handheld mixer, mix until you have stiff peaks. Set your whipped cream side, grab another bowl, and we're going to add both packs of our room temperature cream cheese. Then your half of a cup of Lakanto, and using your mixer, mix until creamy. We're going to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and then mix again until combined. 
We're going to fold the cream cheese mixture in with the whipped cream. We're going to top our graham cracker crust with our cream cheese mixture and then spread that out nice and even. I'm going to cover this with some saran wrap and throw it in the fridge for about three hours. Three hours later. All right, here's the cheesecake bars. Let me just tell you how incredibly amazing this looks. I cannot wait for these all week. I will go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. Thank you for joining me for another weekly meal prep. I hope you are as excited about these three recipes as I am. I can't wait to enjoy them all week long. I mean, who doesn't love a good pumpkin oat, a good salad, and of course, cheesecake. Cheesecake is always a win. Don't forget all the recipes are on my website. I will link it down below for you, as well as nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and of course, don't forget, come join my Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.